Okay, this is our first harvesting of Jerusalem artichokes this year. And uh, it's going to be out of the ones in the bucket. Now, somebody, and I don't remember who it was, asked me uh, to measure how many we got out of here. And uh, early post, because I said I was thinking about pulling it out, and they asked me not to. So we're going to kind of do a semi-measurement of it. Um, the stalk we can probably give to our chickens. As a matter of fact, I probably should have grabbed a... a uh, Clipper to do, but uh, I'm gonna pull this out. And I would pretty much dump it over and let it roll it out, but uh, I got a lot of root. Oh, there's, yeah, yeah, look at that. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. Ooh, okay, nice. Okay. Not bad, not bad at all. We've had a crazy year with weather wow. this year um, because we have either been dry or we have been wet all year. Not and we get a lot of rain in one in a, in a week or two week period, and then we go for several weeks without any more rain. So it's been kind of a crazy weather year this year. What else Let's is in there? Got in there? Or is that it? And if you don't get all the Jerusalem artichokes out, you will have them again next year. <laughs> we may just have them in that bucket next year. Don't look like it. Whoops. Yeah, yeah there, there's some down there. Down. We probably gotta go a little deep. Oh, oh yeah, we gotta go a little deep. <laughs> All right. You want a little shovel? Nah, the soil's pretty loose. Well, it's easy harvest. Yeah. <laughs> I like this way. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I still don't know that you got the numbers that you would get. I see one over there too. I said I saw one over there. That's a rock. <laughs> okay, I guess that's it. I'm guessing that's it. We'll find out next year. <laughs> <laughs> well, we didn't plant him this year. No. What I said, that was it? <laughs> uh-huh. What did I say? That was it. Now, what kind of dirt is that? Uh, the bottom down here is just dirt, dirt from uh, the yard. Um, is that a Jerusalem artichoke or is that a, I think it may be one down here way down in the bottom. And then uh, the rest of it is some soil that we purchased a few years ago and then some compost and uh, some, uh, some chicken manure, just kind of a mixture of stuff. So, uh, all right. Well, let's get them separated and we'll start knocking it out then. And we may try to cook a few this before I leave for work today. We may not. Um, it kind of depends on how, how it goes. Okay, do you want me to stop this for a little bit and then... Uh... Um, if you want, you can help me get out here and... Yeah, so I can help you. All right. Okay, we'll hit pause. Yeah. Okay, we're back. We've... we've put the X all of them in there that we got so far yeah, and shaking most more. of the dirt off and we've got some more down here. I'm going to show you the, the way they grow around the root. Um, just all around got nice little knots right here. These are the ones that are kind of the size you normally see. Um, but uh, if you don't get every one, you'll have to root some artichokes next year. <laughs> we, yeah, but we want them every year. Yeah, so. <laughs> they're there are, what do you want for breakfast? I don't know, what do you think about scrambling, or some doing some uh, doing uh, artichokes as uh, hash browns? Okay, <laughs> go get some and bring them in. They make a really good casserole too. Yeah, they do. They work for a lot of things and they're no work during the summer. You just plant, you know, you plant them and, and you're done. Um, and there's some up in there. Three, four years, five years, six years later, you're still digging them out. And this tub dried out pretty good a couple of times. So um, we had, said, between they... between the dry, between the really dry periods during the summer and the fact we we're having fights with our well all summer long, this this tub dried out several times. Right in the bottom down there, I think, right there. See? Yeah, see a couple there. 
Whoops, that one broke. There's another one back there behind your hand. There's a couple little tiny knots that we're thinking oh, about right forming. There. Yeah, I know, I can't get can't him loose. Get him. <laughs> I know he's there. I'm well aware he's there. We're probably going to get half a bucket when we get all these in Are there. We? Okay, that's not bad. We're going to end up with about a half of a five gallon bucket out of this one plant. So. And that's not exactly uncommon. <laughs> Some of the bigger ones up there in the uh, actual dirt dirt that never never went through quite the same cycles that this one did may have some even better ones. So, uh, all right. That's either it or it's pretty close to it. I think I feel something here, but I can't quite get a hold of it. It may just be the way the root ran into. So that looks like about it. One or two little yeah. knots there. And those little knots are going to be the ones that that's going to be making. <laughs> the, those are the ones that you'll miss, yep. and you'll have Drusus martyr chokes there forever, <laughs> or at least pretty close. So have them in a spot where you don't mind them just coming up all the time. Which is what we've done. We don't. Yeah. We, we we don't worry about it. We've got them in a couple of spots, and we're yeah, actually thinking it. about putting them in another spot or two yep i think you're right we're thinking about putting them in another spot or two and uh just let them go it's always good uh, to know you got them in the ground there yeah that's that's they're an easy summer crop because you don't do nothing with them and you can <laughs> and do you a go lot out, of stuff when you and cook then you them go out and harvest them in the in the fall you can put them in soups and stews and make hash browns and casseroles and Kind of like mashed potatoes and all kinds Slice of stuff. Slice them up, eat them raw. Yep, they're good in a, a salad. salad. All right. Is that got it? Okay. Did you... Want to show a top-down wanna... picture on it? What? what? You want to throw these in and show yeah. a top-down picture or just throw them out over here on the side and do a picture with them? Here, i just... Jump them out there. Yeah. And one thing about these, these are pretty clean compared to what we dig out of the garden usually. Yeah. Uh, their area. We have to have a rinse bucket at the garden. Yeah. See there? Enough and for a couple of meals. They just came out of that bucket right there. And they're so, all on top. And it came up from like a seed or something because we didn't plant it. It was not intentional on our yeah. part. <laughs> Okay, I, that's all. But we just wanted to show you us taking that, that out of that bucket because we had never done them in a bucket before. Yeah, that'd make two meals easy. Yeah. And uh, they're easy, about the easiest winter storage crop you'd ever want to have. You leave them in the ground and don't touch them. <laughs> when you want them, you dig them. Um, if you dig them and you have extra, they typically don't hold up very well. You might be able to get next day, but that's you about it. Bit, but you you got a day, you got two better days. Better in the ground. Yeah, you got a day, you got two days, but basically you're you're done. We've, so. we've had better luck with them in the ground. Yep. Okay. We, somebody gave, somebody, my wife found instructions one time for keeping them alive, keeping them healthy, and we did it. But it was a heck of a lot of work. Yeah, and they didn't stay as healthy as <laughs> I they, thought they would. They, they lasted for several they lasted for several months, which is unusual. Little one down in there. Huh? Little one? Yeah. They they lasted for several months, but uh, basically you just leave them in the ground and they're good until they start growing. And when they start growing they get kind of nasty fairly quickly. They they're no longer they're no longer tasty when they start trying to grow very much. Yeah. <laughs> so all right, well, that's it. We're going to throw this all back in the pot and we're done. Um, if you enjoy this sort of thing, I'd ask you to subscribe. And uh, whoever it was asked me to measure how many we got, I will uh, I will go on ahead and uh, look back at the uh, conversation. Do you want to put them in the, in the bucket? In, uh, sure, why not? Here, you wanna, since we dumped them out, you want to? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put this back in there right now. All right, so. I'll be putting them in the back in the bucket and we will, we will catch up to you later. All right, bye. Bye. Okay, we've got these in the bucket. Just I quick, can't... just so you show you real quick. <laughs> See there? We got the dirt, but most of the dirt back in there, and we'll be dumping the rest of it. But I just want to let you know 
It's ended up about a third of a bucket instead of half a bucket, but that's good. They're all looking good. And I just want, wanted you to see what we got, so I'll talk to you later. Bye.